Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. You'll notice that I cut all my hair off because it's kind of hot here, you know. Gotta get some breeze going. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the shop. Did I say that already? I am uh, working on the Damascus for the first uh, knife build in the new shop here, the buoy. And I'm also starting work on orders, uh, the most pressing of which at this point in time uh, are a couple of quick um, horseshoe hearts that I forged for people using for weddings and that kind of thing. So still do a few of those and I got to get those done. But I had a couple of things I wanted to kind of run by um, our audience out here, you guys, subscribers, and if you're not subscribed, you should be. But uh, a couple of things. So let me uh, fire the forge back up and uh, get some stuff forged a little bit here and we'll talk for a minute. All right, so I have those hearts forged out and uh, you have to cool down before I can do anything else with them. So now's a good time to chat for a minute. Um, so I, I, need, I want some input uh, from you guys on a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I'm kind of contemplating doing two versions of the this buoy knife build, maybe doing um, one version in installments, you know, like forging the Damascus first and then, you know, maybe three or four parts, I don't know. Um, and then, you know, having a uh, voiceover uh, explanation, narration, or whatever on that. Uh, and then a second version f with the whole build that maybe has some, you know, background music or something and, and no, no talking or, or that could be full narration. I don't know. Uh, my hesitation with doing videos, you know, builds in sections is that in the past, on the channel here, those typically get don't get very good views, and so uh, the the most recent example is the uh, the kep art that I just made uh, in Idaho. Uh, last night I made in Idaho actually, and the, you know it's Damascus, and I did the the build in two videos. Well, the first first video, you know, yeah, it's up. To, it's not very many views. It's up to. Uh, over 3,000 now or something. But then the second one is only like, I, I wanna say it's less than 2,000, I know that. And so, you know, you don't, the the view the viewership or the, 
you know, audience retention on, in my experience, on multiple installment build videos goes down drastically. And so you don't, I don't know, it's just not, it's not, it's not very good for YouTube. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if people just lose interest. I don't know if, if you do the whole thing in one video, if most people stop watching after the first five minutes. I don't really know. But anyway, that's my hesitation with doing a build in multiple installments. So, your thoughts on that, uh, let me know what you think. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is, we, I've talked a little bit about the future of where I want to take the channel here, and so you guys are familiar with that. You know, I won't go over that again, but the, um, and if you're not familiar with that, it's in previous videos, uh, go back a few videos, things are changing, that's one of them, stuff like that. But beyond what I've talked about already, one of the things that I have kind of had in the back of my mind for a while is the uh, potential or the idea of doing uh, some kind of um, in-depth um, tutorial or instructional videos, video or videos. And I think I did a little poll on the channel a couple months back about this. And so I guess my question about that is, you know, so at this point we're, we're still below 5,000 subscribers, so not, not a big channel. Um, steadily growing, but I guess what I'm wondering is, are we to the point yet where it would be worth it to put the time and effort into a instructional video on some specific topic or skill that would either, uh, you guys would either be interested in uh, purchasing or um, paying a small, um, and I don't know if I can even do this yet on YouTube. You can you can pay for like a subscription for additional content. I don't know. I don't think I can. I'm not sure if I can do that on, on YouTube yet or not. I think you have to have like 10,000 subscribers. I'm not sure. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is like if I if I take the extra time and the extra effort to put together a very detailed, um, specific instructional, you know, educational tutorial, whatever you want to call it, is that of interest? Is there enough people, enough of you guys out there right now? that that's of interest that I could, you know, justify, you know, working on that now, or do I need to wait until we're up to 10, 20, whatever, how many thousand subscribers, where's the interest at? So that's the second thing. The third thing is not really knife related, um, but if you watch the channel at all, you know that I appreciate and enjoy a good cup of coffee. And so you've, you've, if you've watched more than a couple of videos, you've probably <laughs> noticed that. So an idea that Sarah came up with, my wife, Sarah came up with, oh, probably a year ago now, is having our own uh, coffee line. You know, and, and I'm not familiar with, I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with how that works. I haven't really looked into this at all. Um, I think you, you know, you source your beans, your coffee beans, you connect with a custom roaster, unless you want to buy a roasting machine yourself. Um, but you connect with a custom roaster and have them, you know, dial in your, your, what you want to make, you know, so obviously it would be, um, coffee that I like. <laughs> so some of you might not like it. I'm sure a lot of you would, but you know, that it's, it's, it's a line. Not, not everybody likes the same kind of coffee. And so that's my vague understanding of how it works. I really have not looked into it. So I'm just throwing this out there way in advance of anything even, you know, happening. It's, it's a possibility, nothing nothing has been done yet. It's just an idea at this point. Uh, what is the interest in buying Fire Creek coffee? See, I can't even say it. Fire, I need a cup of coffee. <clears throat> Fire Creek Coffee Co. or company. Uh, what's the interest? Is there any interest there? Um, you know, we have cool names for it like uh, The Hammer or, you know, you know, I don't know. It, it would be good coffee. You know, what I'm envisioning is organic, uh, you know, quality, shade grown, responsibly sourced. But I mean, seriously, you know, let's source it from from uh, from people who need to uh, make a living, small farmers, and this kind of thing from various places in the world. We can we can do that. So I mean, it, it wouldn't be. I, what I'm envisioning would be more than it would cost more than a can of Folgers, obviously. Uh, but it wouldn't be exorbitant in my mind. I don't, you know, I'm not sure what the cost is. Don't, don't quote me on anything. Like when I go to Costco, for example, the last cup of coffee I was drinking 
in a couple videos ago. It's, it's organic shade grown co-op coffee roasted in Texas and you can get a, I think it's a two pound bag of beans. It's, it's on ground so you grind it yourself so it's fresh. And um, I don't know, it was what, 15 bucks? I don't think it was 20 bucks. So to me that's a, a, a reason, I mean that's a justifiable cost especially for that. And I don't know if they get a, a better deal probably because it's quantity, I don't know. So I'm just throwing that out there. If there's, see if there's any interest in those things, let me know what you guys think. I think that's all I got for today. Um, one, of the, one of the most difficult things on, on YouTube so far is quantity and, and frequency of, of content. Um, if you know anything about YouTube, you know that if you don't continually upload content, your, the algorithm, one of the algorithms that they use to push your channel uh, to the front or, or put it in front of viewers, it, it goes down. I gotta be honest, sometimes I'm a little, I feel a little leery about what I'm putting. I, like, I don't want to just put content out there just to put it out there, okay? So um, I, hope, I hope this video doesn't feel like that. I don't want it to be, but those are some legitimate questions that I do want input on. So please uh, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Cause you know, if I don't, if there's no feedback and for only one or two of you guys put feedback, then obviously that's not, you know, at this point in time, it's not something that's going to be worth pursuing. So uh, let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you for being here. Stay tuned for awesome, cool blade stuff. All right. See you in the next video.